On this episode of Street Rat Garage, we are back again at the Indiana Auto Auction. Hopefully we can find a little better classic car this time. Today's episode is sponsored by Bodega Coolers. It's not an ordinary cooler. It is, in fact, a miniature refrigerator and freezer. There's no more running down to the gas station, hoping that they have ice and hoping you can make it the entire day without it all melting. And it also gives you the ability to freeze things. It has dual cooling compartments. You can set either compartment to a maximum of 77 degrees all the way down to negative four degrees. You can run it on AC, you can run it on DC, you can run it on solar power. You can even buy a little battery pack, plug it right in and run it on that. If you plug it into your car's outlet and you park somewhere, not to worry. It has an intelligent battery protection system to keep your battery from going dead. Other features include LED display control panel for temperature settings, also a USB charging port has a drain plug in the bottom, cup holders on the door, interior LED lights, cutting board, and a bottle opener. It also comes with a downloadable app. You can adjust the temperature settings right from your phone, and it even has a control lock, so you don't accidentally hit any of the buttons. One of my favorite features of the cooler is the adjustable door. You can just take the door off and move it to the other side. Quick and easy. Bodega also sells a wide, vast variety of coolers. Need one smaller? They have one smaller. Need one bigger? They have one bigger. They have all your needs, no matter what it is. I will leave a link in the description below. Click on the link, go to Bodega, check them out, find the cooler that is right for your life. Now back to the live action. So, I have had some people complaining about the police auto auction because the cars they're not the best they're way on the cheap side and uh, apparently a lot of people want to see nicer newer more expensive vehicles going through the auction so let's walk around here and get a temperature of what a little bit vehicle might go for well the very first thing that I want to look at is not actually going through the sale and I don't know what it is E Q U U S. E e Q S. Is that is that right? Did I say that right? I don't know if I said that right or not. I'm sure somebody will tell me. Are these aftermarket rims on it? Brimble or brim brimmers? <laughs> uh, yeah, I have I have no idea what this is. I have not seen one of these, or if I have seen one of these, I didn't realize what it was. It looks. I don't know. I don't know what it looks like. It looks like an Asian car, really. Is that what it is? Is this some sort of... Oh, I don't know. I have no idea. I can't even, I can't even put a, an ideal on that. But it has a, has a tow hook on it, so apparently it broke down and they're not going to send it through the auction. That's a shame. I would like to know more about that. Well, luckily, no matter what, there's always a Tahoe for sale up here. So this is an 05, it looks like. 05 Chevy Tahoe with a little bit of rust on it. We can't seem to get away from this rust. Oh, uh-oh, wow. Hope nobody saw that. <laughs> I barely touched it. Oh my gosh. Um, yeah, that happened. Interior. It's got the leather interior, which, man, I really don't like this interior. It's so thin and cheap. It's leather from the looks of it, from the back side of it. I don't think it's vinyl junk, but it's really thin leather. It's The rest of the seats are nice. It doesn't have the DVD player in it, though. But um, how many miles? I don't know how many miles this is on has on it, but not a bad-looking truck, though. Oh, here's a pretty nice looking one. It looks like an 09 uh, BMW with only 38,000 miles on it. Huh. That is a, an attractive looking car right there. That is way outside of my wheelhouse. I know nothing about these cars. Except uh, they look nice. I don't even know what model it is. Aren't they supposed to say on the back there? Did somebody take that off? This is... 
Don't know. It's G. It says cat G. Only 38k miles. Only 38k. Hmm. Not bad. Oh, it's a it's a hard top convertible. I didn't notice that till just now. So that's probably going to bring all the money. If I had to guess, maybe around seven grand. This is a little more like it. An 07 Subaru. Subaru what? Subaru. Yeah. Why? Why do these cars not have any names on the back of them? I can't memorize every car. Look, it is a manual. Got a five-speed in it. Nice interior. It's a bit dirty underneath the hood. A uh, couple oil leaks on it, but all in all, not too bad a shape. I do not, do not like the aftermarket rims that it has on it. Surely it had better, better rims on it from the factory than that, I would imagine. But only 92K miles on it. I would say that, uh, man, this is so outside my wheelhouse. I don't know the prices on these. I would say 4,000. That's what I'm gonna guess. 4,000 on this one. Well, I kinda like this Acura. It's an 06. And how many miles does it have? It doesn't say how many miles it's on this one, but judging from that interior, I would say a couple hundred thousand. So you can't go wrong with an Acura. They are pretty dependable cars. There's a number, 121, 121,000. So it doesn't have that many miles on it, but uh, somebody, somebody beat up that interior pretty good. And it's solid body though. This would clean up. The paint is a little bit dull. These headlights are clouded out, but that's what you want. You want something that needs a little work, some cleaning duties on that one would make it look a lot better. Next up, we got a 09 BMW. This one is also pretty nice, but it's dirty. 09, where's the miles? I don't see the miles on it. So we don't know how many miles on it. Let's look inside for clues. So seats are still pretty good shape. Uh, the armrest is a little bit worn. The pedal is in still pretty good shape. I'm gonna guess about 125,000 miles on this one, give or take. Not a bad looking car. See, we have a number on this one. This is a 750. 750 BMW so I don't know where the numbers went on the others but this one has one nice nice looking car I don't know about the sort of tan gold paint on this one not too bad what's it look like on the other side always make sure to check both sides of the cars and look down them real good make sure they're not wavy like they've been hit and re spray painted this one has a little bit of a little bit of cracking right there like something flew up and bent this in this direction i would imagine but not bad now there was some people asking about minivans we have minivans gold honda yellow honda uh chrysler town and country over there plenty of minivans going through i'm not sure what year what's this this is an 04 this one's an 04 this one's an 08 this one is damaged it got hit in the back quarter panel so and it looks like the wheels leaning over a little bit so that's pretty much you're gonna have to replace a cradle probably or the suspension on that one this probably will be pretty cheap somebody wants to fix it up but these honda odysseys they are good vehicles they run for a really long time that one's kind of beat up too oh got side swipe what is, oh, and the window is either down or missing. Not sure what the deal is on that. Okay, let's look here real quick. It's uh, it's in there, so the electronics are messed up. The door switch or the motor. But it's not bad. This is not bad. This would be one if you're, you know, semi-skilled with a little bit of body work or just want to drive it around that way. If it goes cheap, not a bad deal. What's it look like on the other side? Oh, it's got some rust on it. Ew. I gotta stop poking that rust spots. Even the blue one has some wrinkles, but I would say this is the best one out of all of them. It has 290K miles on it, which isn't bad. That one has 303 on it. This one has 150, but Chrysler's don't go as long as the Hondas. So if I had to choose in between 200,000 mile Honda and 150,000 mile Chrysler, I think I would go with the Honda with 290,000 miles on it. 
And here's another gold Honda that I did not see back here. It, uh, it has 330,000 miles on it. Wow. People drive the mess out of these, these Honda minivans. And that might have been a uh, Uber Eats vehicle or a Uber, Uber wagon, something like that. I think, uh, I think this one had some some uh, work was working vehicle it's uh you know the back seats are kind of dirty floor in the back's dirty so definitely uh probably a lift vehicle probably not even an uber vehicle lift vehicles seem to be a little more dirty than the the uber vehicles now this truck right here this dodge ram this is almost identical to one that I bought out of the Gov Deals auction. It's an 08, just like mine. It has 193 miles, which mine had about that many miles. The body's about the same shape. I think I paid thirteen or $1,400 for mine. Mine wasn't quite as rusty as that on the back. It's, uh, yeah, it's got more rust. The bed looks better on the inside than mine because, you know, it has a bed liner. But the interior is pretty much identical so this may have come from the state of Indiana and been a work truck definitely looks like a work truck so like I said I paid I paid 13 1400 bucks for mine let's see what this one goes through for Ooh, we got a h3 uh, prefer an h2 if I was gonna buy one I have never driven one of these before and I have no idea what these things go for. It has 125,000 miles on it. it, has a cracked windshield. So always keep that in mind when you're buying these vehicles. That's, uh, that's about a $250 repair at the local glass company. I'm having my Equinox done right now and that's how much it's costing me. So add that into the price. These tires, that one's flat back there. So probably needs a new set of tires on it, really. Yeah, those are dry rotted right there. So about $500 in tires if you get them cheap and it is locked up for some reason like somebody would steal a h3 but uh 750 dollars worth of extras just at a glance added to the price of this one right next to it we have another subaru wagon uh 312 000 miles also has a cracked windshield in it and a train going by this one is a little scratched up it's been beat on used and abused interior it's pretty nice actually so um yeah this be i don't know i don't know about this one 312,000 miles do subaru engines last that long apparently they go 300 miles do they go 350,000 miles i like the way it looks but man that's a lot of a lot of miles i would probably go with this subaru sitting next to it with only 138,000 miles it's an 08 that one's a 2010 so in between these two I would definitely get this. This is also, I don't know, what do you call this, a, a crossover? It's not quite a station wagon. It's not quite a SUV. It's a Subaru Tribeca. Yeah, definitely, definitely better than the Outback, in my opinion. Look what I found over here in the corner. I had to go looking for this one. It was on the sheet, but it wasn't up where all the other cars are. I imagine because it doesn't run, and it looks like it's been sitting for a long time, but... This is a 1968 uh, Caprice. Caprice. You uh, don't see these around a whole lot. This, oh, look at the license plate. The license plate says 06. Wow. This has been sitting around for a while. And look at the, look at the rust on it though. Ooh. Yeah, we have a lot of that here, but Look at the green mold moss on that <laughs> wheels. Yeah, I'm surprised the tires are still up on this thing. Man, this is a cool car though. Just imagine taking this and just cleaning it and buffing it back out again. It will make it look a hundred times better. A lot of green moss there. Man, I'm really digging on this car. Uh, sometimes there's a badge here that says what engine's in it, but doesn't have one there. Look at the rest here. You know, it's not awful. I mean, it's kind of awful, but not super awful. That quarter panel is definitely shot. Um, <laughs> it's got rust 
in the channels here. So have to be concerned about that back window flopping out. Let's see, make sure, oops, lost the trim piece there. Pick that back up and toss it on the seat there. Uh-huh. Yep. That's oh the smell. <laughs> oh my gosh, the smell. That man that stinks. I'm gonna get in on the other side. Yeah, uh -huh. let's go in here. Oh, it's so nasty. Oh the seat. Yuck. How many miles? 99,000. 99,000 for a 68 is a lot of miles. So what is that on the pedal? Um, don't think I want to know. Yuck. This is so nasty. Look at that. It burnt. Burnt the padding on the seat. It's been closed up for so long. I'm afraid something's going to jump out of this car. Oh, it's so disgusting. I love it. Absolutely love this car. So nasty. And it's a it's not a post either. It's four-door, uh, no post car. Wow, this is so awesome. So bad, it's so awesome. Okay, it's got the V8 in it though. At least it's not a six banger. Uh, what did they make? Oh look, 327, nice. Oh, nice, turbo, turbo fire. <laughs> 327 turbo fire, this is awesome. That is a good engine. I don't know how much power a 327 Turbo Fire makes, but uh, definitely a lot more than a, a 350 in the 70s. This is uh, before they started putting low compression engines in them. So this is this is gonna move out pretty good. But is the engine locked up? That's the concern. I wish I brought my gloves with me. No, it moved. It's moving. Oh yeah, oh yeah. It turns, it turns fairly, fairly good. I wonder why this was parked up. It's missing, uh, missing part of the wiper thing. I mean, that would be a awful lame reason to park this up, but you know, people do strange things. If the wipers don't work and you want to fix them, they might have, may have took it apart and never got around to it, bought another car and just let this one sit. It still has the points ignition system on it so nobody has messed with this car this is really original look at that old battery in there it's an ever start is ever start in that walmart battery from back in the day all yellow <laughs> this car is so cool just pulled the dipstick out and it's uh it's plumb full of oil it's black as can be but it's it's full of oil so that's a good thing now i'm just gonna stick my foot in there and see <laughs> it's going through the floor my foot's going through the floor i just wanted to touch the brakes and they are hard as a rock i can't even push them down but my foot just went through the floor on that but look at that look at that old uh compass right there that's neat too this was a traveling man's car there's many many more cars out here to look at but uh most of them are kind of boring like you know hhrs and pt cruisers and Honda Civics. I don't think anybody wants to see that. Unless you do. Tell me if you do. But let's get back inside and see what these are going for. All right. It is time for the Indiana Auto Auction. And it is beginning now. And our first car up is the uh, the Acura that we looked at. The 2000, what is it? Was, was it 2006 Acura? Uh, it's a pretty nice car. Right now it's got a current bid of 1800 and they are asking, uh, let's put some volume on there. Asking for $2,000. So let's uh, see what this goes. It's going up pretty quick so far. So let's uh, let's see what it goes for real quick here. 25, or 2,400 asking for $2,500 on a 06 Acura. What was the mileage on that? Mileage, mileage, uh, 120,000 miles on that car. So, so far so good, it's not, overly high is it gonna go okay here we go it's going twice is it going for it stopped Next oh, item. well apparently two thousand seven hundred dollars okay now is our BMW 2009 it's a three series so that's what that one was wow it's it's at five thousand dollars already man this sucker is uh it was a nice car I uh, I can see it getting that kind of money now I was 
I was, yes, going. I was kind of concerned about tax time, whether people have the money right now to buy this stuff. Well, apparently they, they have the money to buy uh, BMWs, 2009s, for $5,500. So we're doing pretty good right now, $5,500. Okay, it's at $5,600. Let's see if it sells. If sell. They're not sure if they want to sell it for that. So uh, it's going to go on a phone call. They're going to call the people. It's like, will you take $5,600 for it? They'll say yes or no or counter offer. And they have, if they counter offer, you can take it or you can counter their counter offer. One of, one of the two, but I would have sold it for that kind of money, I think. And we have the 09 BMW 7 Series. It's uh, currently at $2,300. You can pre-bid on these cars before they actually go through the auction. So you can go online, put in your maximum bid, and it'll it'll start the auction at your maximum, not your maximum bid, but the maximum bid, and then it will upgrade to your maximum bid as people bid on it. So if you uh, if you bid $3,000, and the bid's only at two thousand. It'll bid up to that three thousand dollar mark before you're kicked out. So you don't have to be present to win. All right, it's going twice, two thousand eight hundred. So it's about uh, it's about to close out here. Let's see what she goes for, two thousand eight hundred. Ah, oh, another if sell, unbelievable. All right, here comes the 05 Suburban that I kind of poked a hole through the rust there. Nine, they're asking, they got eight hundred bucks on it, nine hundred dollars. Um, man, I don't know about that. It's a charity donated vehicle, so Selling all the way. It, it's kind of iffy. They either they don't want it for some reason. It's got 237,000 miles on that one. It says rust and dents running, cracked, uh, a little cracked and a little rust on the back. Well, they're up to 1200 bucks now. Let's see what it goes for. Okay, he's going twice for $1,200. Let's see if it goes. Ready? $1,200. That's not, that wasn't bad. Okay, here's our 2008 Town & Country, one of our minivans. And uh, it only has a current bid of 500 bucks on it. What's wrong with this? Running vehicle, third row seat, suspension issues. Vehicle has average wear and tear. Vehicle sold as is. So it just has some suspension issues, but that could be anything. It says rear bumper damage, front bumper scraped up, uh, suspension, rear left broken. So it could be rusted underneath. So that's a, probably a good one to stay away from. Going twice for $625. Yeah. I want $700. 600 bucks going twice. Let's get rid of this thing and move on to something a little bit better. So that's why I like the Honda Odysseys better. Give me $700. Let's see if it goes. Oh, it's got six twenty-five on it right now. So let's see. Here it goes. Three, two, one. Get it out of here. Six twenty-five. And it's an if sale. What is with all the if sales? You guys have to get rid of these vehicles. Okay, here is the uh, two thousand eight Dodge Ram, like the one that I had before. I want one thousand more. New bid one thousand. Fifteen hundred, seventeen hundred, seventeen hundred, two thousand dollars. Twenty one, twenty two hundred dollars. Twenty four. Ah, twenty five, twenty six. I think I sold mine for three thousand dollars. So if this goes to three thousand dollars, then uh, this auction is either not a good deal or I sold my truck too cheap. Probably I sold my truck too cheap, but I don't think so because it took took me like a week and a half to sell the truck. Usually when it's underpriced, it sells like within the same day that it's listed. So current at $2,600. Doesn't look like they're going to get up to $3,000 on this. So nope, no sell. Reserve was not met. Oh, there's that uh, gold, one of the gold uh, Honda Odyssey vans. This one's not doing too good. It's only at $575. And uh, what's it say about it? Third row seating, wear and tear, sold as is, visible defects, blah, blah, blah. It's, uh, oh, that's a 303,000 mile van. So, yeah. The, the, um, what I say, Lyft, Lyft or Uber van. New bid, $600. Oh, 600 bucks. I mean, if it runs and drives, is it really that bad? That's the one, yeah, I have the dent in the side. Give me $625. So, all the way. Uh, they're going to sell this one, so 
when they say selling all the way, it's going no matter what. So this $600 bid is probably going to get it unless somebody else wants this beat up 300,000 mile minivan. Going twice for $600. But again, I don't know how much the auction fees are. We have to look up the auction fees, but the, this auction is not so bad. So $600, probably about $150, $175 on auction fees. Oh, there's that. Uh, we didn't look at this, but this is the, uh, what, 8-in, 9-in tractor. And I can't even I bid on it. Oh, yeah, I can bid on it. Before, they, they wouldn't let anybody bid on it because it didn't have a title. So if you watch on one of my close. other vehicles, I was going to bid on this, and uh, it didn't, I couldn't bid on it. But now I don't want it anymore. Going once, <laughs> why so, cheap? so $300. Man, should I bid on that? I don't know. Going twice for three hundred dollars. Three hundred dollars, and are not dropping. I mean, if they drop it down to twenty-five dollar increments, if sale for three hundred dollars. And it's on the if sale. Next item, yeah. two thousand four Honda Odyssey. Oh, here's the Honda Odyssey, the blue one. So we're going car to car to car this About time. This was a, this was a what, a two thousand or two thousand and. Going once for eight hundred dollars. Where is it? It says the radio doesn't work, has dents, scrapes, runs and drives. So Going to, where did all the van buyers go? Running and driving two thousand four Honda Odyssey. I this one wasn't so bad. Didn't it have a dent in it though? Asking for nine hundred dollars. Is that the one with the dent? No. This that's Asking the one that I said would probably be the best out of the three or four vans. Uh let's see if it goes for eight hundred bucks. Somehow I don't think they're gonna sell it for eight hundred dollars. Yeah, it's an if sell. I think it's worth Next more than item, that. Okay, here is our really ugly and dirty 06 Honda Odyssey, the uh, the Lyft Uber van that has uh, 328000 And it's on an if sell for $475. Can you believe that? They should have just sold that one. Okay, a 2000 Subaru Impreza. That's what that was, an Impreza. I wonder why they took the names off of it. That had the name off of it, right? Was it that one? Well, it's at $2,500 for a 2000 Subaru Impreza with 92,000 miles on it. Not bad. What's it say about it? Oh, that was the stick shift car. Running vehicle, stick shift, low miles, average wear and tear, runs and drives. Yeah. Asking for Not bad so far. I mean, $2,800. I'd like to see it stop there, but apparently it's going to... It might go. It might go for two thousand eight hundred dollars. Let's see. Let's see if oh, there it goes. Two thousand nine hundred dollars. Will it make it up to three thousand dollars? Maybe. New yeah. Bid $3, I mean, ninety-two thousand miles. That's pretty good for one of these cars. They they do pretty good. They last for a while as long Going as they haven't, haven't been hot rotted or anything. But uh, yeah, I didn't like those rims. I remember that. Did not like the rims on it. Put back on the stock rims, and you could probably Going get more money. $3, so $3,100. Fair deal, I think. It's Give okay. I don't think it's a good deal. $3,200. So probably a little bit of tax money still in the system. Um, I don't know. This is a charity donated vehicle, too. So somebody just gave this as a donation. Well, that's uh, that's mighty nice of them. Going as long as the clutch isn't all burn up, it's it's going going $3, twice, five seconds, Asking four, three, $3, nope. Selling all the way. Going, <laughs> they bid on it, thirty two hundred dollars. Okay, let's get this thing sold. Going twice for three thousand two hundred dollars. Twenty five dollars. Okay, they just dropped the bid down to twenty five dollars, so going they're going to sell it. So I think they drop the bid increments when it stops. And they're going to sell it anyway. That's probably the way it works, I'm guessing. Don't lose it over $25. Uh, $3,200. They're trying to squeeze every penny out of everybody. Here we go. Sold for $3,200. Yeah, $3,200. That's not so bad. Oh, here's our Hummer. All right, our Hummer H3. <laughs> funny looking, funny looking vehicle. It looks a lot better in these pictures than it does in person. But it's not bad at all. New bid, $3, Let's see what it says about it. 4x4. Four four. Oh, it's got engine codes. Check engine codes. P2769, P0449, P0552. Wonder what those are. 
So yeah, if you go out there, make sure to look through all the information so you can uh, have a chance to find out. At least they left the check engine light on and they didn't clear the check engine light before it ran through the uh, the auction. So I'll give them kudos for that, for not clearing, clearing it out. And it is. It is what it is. Going once for three thousand nine hundred dollars. Better, better that? informed on uh, the issues on this. A lot of people just Going clear out the check engine lights and just run it through, and one? then when you're driving it back home down the road, $25. all these Someone engine codes pop up. So, Where it's right now. Go? It's at three thousand nine hundred dollars. Let's see if Going she, let's she see if she goes through for that kind of money. We're not done yet, are we? Going twice. She's gonna go. And no sale. The was not met. oh no sale. Nobody wants Next to sell their vehicle, apparently. Subaru, okay, well, here's the other Subaru that was next to it, and for some reason uh, it's uh, dealers and dismantlers only. So there's something wrong with this one. Vehicle starts, da da da. Title announcement. Must not be a title on it. So something is wrong with this one. Is Doesn't say attention? exactly. But uh, if sell four hundred and seventy-five dollars, that's a shame. And here is our twenty ten Subaru Outback. Give me two thousand. Only ninety-eight thousand miles. Is that ninety-eight thousand miles? Am I wrong? Or is it three hundred twelve? Oh, three hundred twelve. That's the one. <laughs> I was looking at the, the trip. Selling all the way. So, three hundred and twelve thousand miles on the Subaru Outback. That is a lot. A lot of miles. I'm going to sell it. Go, I want yeah, I bet you're going to sell it. For that kind of mileage, I'd sell it too. So twenty-one hundred dollars for three hundred thousand. Oh, and it sold. Wow, that went quick. They Next really item. wanted to get rid of that one. Okay, it is time for a nineteen sixty-eight, and it's already up to eight hundred dollars. Boom! I'm gonna hit it at nine hundred dollars, and I am the high bidder on that. Let's uh, let's watch while probably a whole bunch of other people. Yep, there you go. You have been outbid. So this time I'm gonna wait a little bit, and see if. I need one thousand one hundred dollars. I'm gonna hit it at eleven hundred dollars, just like at the it's very last second. $1, there you go, eleven hundred, eleven hundred dollars. So let's see if we can get this guy. Are they gonna bid twelve? Going twice for one thousand. Going twice. We've got another run or two, and then we'll see if we New get bid, this. $1, nope. Thirteen hundred dollars. Fifteen hundred dollars. Take that. I think if he bids one more, if he bids one more time, I think we're going to be done. Going twice for one thousand five hundred dollars. Fifteen hundred dollars plus uh, auction fees. We're going to be into that for like eighteen hundred dollars. Sold for one thousand. Oh, we got it! Yes, fifteen hundred dollars. We just bought a car that has been sitting for about fifteen years and have no idea. Well, we know it doesn't run. But it has that 327 in it, and that is what I'm happy about. So that's all the cars that we're going to look at for today. Now, I'm going to make a separate video about going and picking up that car because, uh, yeah, I'm pretty excited about that one. So make sure to subscribe to the channel so you can see me go pick up that car and see if we're going to get it running, see if we can get it running. I, it turns over. I'm pretty sure Sold we can get that thing to run. I'm pretty excited about this one. So, Next item, 2009 Chevrolet Coke. like, share, and subscribe. Make sure to subscribe. And that's going to wrap it up for this episode of Street Rag Garage. Until next time.